Etiquette expert William Hansen's royal style advice for Meghan Markle following her debut engagement. Ahead of their May wedding, Prince Harry and MS Meghan Markle have been wowing crowds on a royal tour of far from exciting places. Nottingham, Brixton, Cardiff, lucky them. There is no question that Meghan is good news for the British royal family. She will follow a long, almost flawless, line of spouses to act as a much-needed counterweight to their royal partners. Elizabeth the Queen Mother Philip, Sophie, Camilla, Catherine. But she would be better news if she could master a few royal fashion rules. It's not too difficult and there have been one too many black coats. For me, perhaps she will learn once she marries. Here is my critique of the future Princess Harry's clothing choices. Cardiff. The big eye popper from yesterday's trip to Cardiff was the black jeans. I am not sure I am prepared to accept royalty in denim when they are on duty even if the jeans are of Welsh origin. Granted, her fiancé and future brother-in-law have done this before but jeans are not really ladylike and for future royal engagements I would stress to all younger members of the royal family that it may be more respectful towards the crowds and organizations they are meeting to avoid them. And dress up, even if just a little bit. Again, we saw Meghan opt for black as the color of her coat which as well as being a little somber for such a happy occasion means that she will not stand out as much in the throng. Usually, the Queen will wear a brighter color when on walkabouts in order for those who far away to still see her. I would have liked to have seen Meghan pay tribute in some small way to the colors of Wales, which others have done before her, but her conscious choice to break away from tradition is showing maturity and she is carving out a personality of her own, however much that may work traditionalists like me. Brixton. Much was made of the 45 pounds marks and Spencer jumper Meghan wore when visiting South London. As the royal couple were visiting perceived less affluent areas of the city it was presumably done to avoid a public display of wealth, but let us not forget the rest of her outfit cost 1,573 pounds. I want royalty to look like royalty. There is no point pretending that they aren't who they are. I find it patronizing when royalty and politicians pretend to be like the proletariat, but I assume Meghan is trading the fine line as she currently holds almost royal status. The day out in Nottingham. Just a few days after the announcement of the engagement, the new royal couple ventured to Nottingham. I was pleased to see that Meghan chose to have a decent daytime bag with a strap, even though some press misguidedly said it broke royal protocol. It did not. The nice big coat was suitable for a winery trip to the black country, but Meghan needn't have taken the Ariel's nickname so seriously and actually worn black. Royal women don't traditionally wear black, unless in mourning or during remembrance, although some would argue that rule is dated. Black does, however, look svelte, streamlined and elegant, which is probably why the future royal wife chose the coat. Christmas at Sandringham This is the most formal we have seen Meghan so far which is apt seeing as it was in the presence of her new, extended family as well as being Christmas Day. Her shoes, hat and gloves were brown, good choices for the country setting, and the coat was a more muted, earthy camel color, again suitable for a bucolic gathering. There wasn't much wrong from a protocol point of view with her Christmas wardrobe although the handbag looked jolly unpractical and too clunky for my liking but all her hard work was undone when the future Duchess of Sussex if the bookkeepers are right stuck her tongue out at a passerby. Royalty do not have protruding tongues. The engagement photo shoot. White after Labor Day, no ties and coat that was too short. Meghan's first official outing as a fiancé may have been a media success but with a properly fitting coat and hosiery it would have been more successful. You may be able to get away with no ties in November in California but this is Britain, and the cooler months certainly need extra layers. Thankfully they were only outside for barely five minutes so there would have been little need to thaw out in front of a Nottingham cottage fire once back inside. Let's not forget M.S. Markle's slight over the shoulder way, to first seen in November. Meghan needs to master the more subtle, gentle Windsor wave in order to fully embrace courtly behavior. The good news. It's not all doom and gloom from me for Meghan. Prince Harry and Meghan have managed to do what so many non-royal couples fail to do then they step out in public. They do actually look like the pair and their dress complements the others. Today we have hordes of the great British public who go for dinner or arrive at parties looking like they are going to separate events often with the girls making too much effort and the boys making too little. 
Prince Harry and Meghan's more relaxed wardrobes are perfectly suited to each other, hopefully, like the couple themselves.